It's time for the Gizwiz with man's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1831, recorded Thursday, May 13th, 2021. Soapy sales. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dicky D is in 2K. We also have two new ways to wash your hands, and I have a brand new security gadget. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same old show with Dicky D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now, now, and here he is, uh, the the uh, the leader of hand washing, <laughs> Dick Di Bartolo. My mind was blank. I wasn't thinking of anything during the whole intro. How are you doing, Dickie D? <laughs> I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Doing great. We, uh. were, we were just talking about CES 2022 and uh, where we're going to go. I'm leaning toward I don't know. Chad's thinking of... I'm thinking I might go. Well, you're closer. You're closer. I'm and leaning, you're younger. True. <laughs> yes. You're, you're closer, closer and you're younger. younger. Uh, I could drive there announced... if I needed to. Yeah. Yes. Uh, CES has announced officially there is an in-person CES and there will be an online CES. And, and one thing that uh, will change is that the new convention center is finished. Oh, yeah. And I believe now that it is twice as big with the hyperlink. Yeah, between the two convention centers <laughs> they're side by side but even though they're side by side the convention center is so big that there used to be a bus at the back of the convention center two buses one was a go-kart took you from the back of the convention center to the front of the convention center and there was another kind of mini bus that took you from one side of the convention center to the other Totally. And now it's twice as big. And and I, I had to like walk that or run that at one point. I remember needing like an SD card for Twit or something like that. And <laughs> I just could not believe how long the thing was. Also, just, you have to dodge and weave people. But just getting from the South Hall over to the North Hall or heaven forbid it was all the way over in the with the lvc the that other the lot yes they they had this you know hotel that it you might have to run into um it was it's so it's it, it feels like it's two it, miles long yeah it, it, i usually walk between 13 and 15 miles in the three days on there it's like Endless. I remember walking into a convention center and calling somebody and saying, well, what ballroom is it in? And they said, uh, you know, it's the uh, Avon. And I said, OK. And I said, we'll see you in 15 minutes. And he was right. Yeah. You oh, yeah. walk through the casino. You walk through restaurant row. You walk through 18 fountains. And then you realize that you should have taken a right over at the fourth fountain. And so you have to walk all the way back. And then uh, it's big. It's <sighs> big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I am one of the things that I'm so happy with is being a, a veteran of CES is knowing the locations that they have on the external sites a little bit better than when I when I started. If if there's something going on in the aria, I'm like, okay, I know where that. Is. Or the the win, I'm like, I kind of know that if I get the Uber to drop me off at the west entrance, I can save myself ten minutes of walking through, you know, the, the everything, <laughs> the whole hotel and everything. Yes, yes. The one thing about the win that has a lot of events is that the back of the win is literally just across the street from the convention center. Right. And one year they let the press go in that gate, which saved you a hell of a walk. Yeah. No way to take a cab because first of all, it's just one incredibly long block and you, the traffic is just at a standstill. And then they decided 
we maybe should put a little golf course back there. <laughs> and so they yeah. sealed the gates. Yep. So now, even though you can walk out the front door of the convention center, you and can see, see it. Win. You can see it. It's right there. <laughs> But it's like a five-mile walk to get to exactly. it. <laughs> egg, egg, exactly. 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 So yeah. anyway, oh, we still have time to think about it. Uh, I was two weeks ago when you did your peanut butter thing. Yeah. Uh, I was looking for a link for it. And, and as you had said at the time, it was uh, no longer available. But I found a different item and I sent you a link to it because you said you wish I didn't have to hold the jaw with one hand. Right. So what this is, is it's a replacement cap for the peanut butter jar. Yeah. Well, look at that. And this that looks like this would solve my issue. And then the the stir stays in it. Yeah. Also, so, because it's not, here's like a version of what I was using. It's so curly cued. If the jar isn't exactly the correct width, it won't fit. But this, because it's just a singular curve, if it was a tiny jar, I still feel like it would work. That is, yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, uh -huh. and and you don't have to have that credit card with the hole in it. No. So that every time you stir your peanut butter, you had to take it out and clean the stir it off. This just sits in it. Yeah. This looks great. This is what I should have got. Oh, well, look, go back to that picture. It looks like someone mailed it back with a big <laughs> dent in it. it. The mixer arrived the, dented, and there's no return oh, policy. Oh, 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 I, oh, I see. That's someone's photo. This person's I, oh, that, lid that's is the way to ride. broken. Look at that. It's crushed. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> don't get that one. Just, say, just that. say, don't send me that one. <laughs> I'd like the one without the crushed, squished lid. That, yes. That's my request. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. It's way nicer than the other one. Um, yeah. yeah, perfect. TikTok. This is, that was part of the TikTok made me buy it. Why, it was, why didn't you review that one for me? Come on. <laughs> yeah, perfect. exactly. Exactly. Uh, um, anything else with new with you? Let me think. I have really? a small announcement after my crappy corner. Um, okay. But uh, we have to get through that first. But but uh, no, I don't really have anything no, else. I, uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just jump in with Pill Popper. And here's all about it. We're back at the lab. <laughs> Well, I mean, we're back in the lab coat, okay, and my new shiny, shiny, do shiny doctor thing. That has to be straightened out. Because we're out. talking about pills <laughs> and the pill popper, okay? Remember we had that uh, toy that you would press if you were, like, nervous? Mm -hmm. Which I've seen everywhere, pressing. by the way. Yes. Well, yes. that has exploded. Uh, Amazon looks at everything that you buy, and then they suggest other things. So I guess when they saw that I was had bought that uh, little popping thing, that I would like a pill popper. And actually, it looked kind of interesting, so I, I did buy one. Let me just uh, see if I can score this so I can get it open. Okay. So the object here is for people who have to take pills and want a memory. And I, I did get, get a couple of emails when I did that big plaque thing that you put on your refrigerator. And they said, do you have anything smaller that'll help me remember to take my pills? Or if I took my pills? So that's why I, I bought pill poppers. So you get three of them. And the object is, now it says that the labels, uh, that, that the ring is very, oh. oh, it is very stretchy. Okay. So here's how this is supposed to work. All right. It hangs on a pill bottle. Oh, that's convenient. And then there is each day of the week down here. Okay. All the days of the week. So I believe when you take a pill, you pop out the day of the week. Or well, I guess you can do it the other way, pop them all out and pop them back in. So you'll look at this quickly. Let me just see what day it was. That was Friday. So you took your pill Friday. 
Now, what if you take more than one pill a day? It's very clever. All right. There is a two and a three pill. Let me just look at this more closely. There, just um, mark dose. Oh, I see. It just says dose. So Friday you took a pill. If you need to take a second pill, you push that out. Now Friday you took two pills. If you had to take three pills a day, you push that out. Now you know Friday you took three pills. And then each night you have to reset that. And then when you go to the next day, you push that out for the first pill, push that out for the second pill, and that's for the third pill. And you get three of them, and they can go on. Uh, do they show in the back? Oh, it shows that it can go on big bottles, little prescription bottles like this one here, hanging on tubes. And it's about 10 bucks. Now, if you take a ton of pills, and the three-a-day thing doesn't work for you, then you could go with this, all right? And then every time you can take a pill, you can push one of those in. So this is for people this who take This is for like hypochondriacs. <laughs> all right, so this is, this is that little toy that helps you when you – you know, it, it really – once you start pushing these, it's very hard to stop pushing them. <laughs> That's very funny. Anyway, yes, those things have taken off incredibly. I the, know. Uh, the little uh, toys to keep you occupied if you're nervous. But the pill popper, I think it's a clever idea. I think so, too. I think that's uh, – so I, we've covered a few, you know, of these tracking things. One of them is the, the timer cap, which is kind of suggested yeah, right. at the top. Um and one thing that annoys me with the timer cap is that you ha almost always have to transfer your pills to another bottle. And if it's a a prescription that's that's you know <laughs> could be regulated, you really shouldn't do that because you need the original label with your name on oh, it. You know, yeah. oh, that's, that, that's and that sort of thing. Um, and so that's kind of annoying. This would fit over whatever your prescription bottle is and whatever size it is uh that's really really yeah nice. and certainly it's cheap enough three of them for 950 yeah absolutely absolutely love it that's a great uh gadget great gadget cool. okay so now you have to go back to you okay well, and i have cool. to do a little moving around here okay <laughs> Okay, we're waiting for that. I feel like uh, you're gonna come back and you're gonna you're gonna be in drag, or you're gonna. Uh, I, should, you're gonna I should be back in two K. Wow. Well, right. so it's a little it's, darker, right? It's a bit darker. You're definitely wider, and I'm not well, sure right. okay. if the two K is coming through on Skype. Oh, you know, you you know, you could be absolutely right. I think it still might be seven twenty on. Oh, on oh Skype. No, yeah, you know, you you know, you're absolutely right. You but, know what? And, I, and I'll tell you why. Because I have another computer here with my other Skype account on it, and this afternoon I wanted to see how fast going into Skype I could change between two cameras, and when I looked at the other monitor. Um, it looked pretty decent, but the thing is, I forgot, it's still Skype, so I'm not quite sure. And, well, and Skype will do high definition, and I think it maxes out at 1080. Um, oh, okay. I think, uh, but it's a, it, being a higher quality on your end, many times translates to a, even a, a better image if it's scaled down, um, so okay, so that's fine. just looking at the return, it also looks a little bit dark. Now, yeah, seems this is dark. what it. Well, let me just read a little bit about it. Okay, the description from them: true to uh, true two K, twenty five sixty by fourteen forty, thirty frames a second, uh, which is clearer and faster than ten eighty p. Faster can't be applied to ten eighty p, can it? Clearer uh, can, or can it? 
if they're if they're claiming sixty frames, I yeah, guess. yeah thirty is thirty is like the least you want to do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Twenty four okay. is like the least least you want to do, but um, I'm trying to see oh. on here. Anyway, yeah, thirty frames a second capture. That's so weird. I'm reading this on Amazon. 30 frames per what? second to capture your clips, which is clearer and faster than 1080p. That's that's not true. That's not true. I don't well, just go, just go to the price, which is the astounding thing. Let's see. 16 bucks. Ooh la la. It's, and wow. it it just went up. Oh, what? I paid $13 for this. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to find my camelizer. Uh, I don't have it installed anymore. Wow, thirteen dollars! Is that unbelievable? Yeah. And you know, it, it's thirteen dollars. It's ending up costing me a fortune because last week after the show, I found a twenty-one dollar camcorder, and I thought, oh, I'm going to do a twenty-one dollar <laughs> camcorder. That's unheard of. <laughs> I bought it, which is this one here, Ooh. and. Then I'm writing this up and, and I get this ad. We, are you interested in a 13? And I go, well, the $13 thing blows this away. Yeah. Oh, it comes with a tripod. That's nice. It comes, it comes with a, a flip up door, which yeah. I paid $6 Privacy for door. for my Logitech. But wait, there's more. Today, I got an ad for one for under ten dollars. I sent you a link to that. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Oh yeah, here it is. Huh. Webcam. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wasn't it last year at this time when this is this is though this is so cheap, I'm starting to get really suspicious. <laughs> like what is wrong with this webcam? Oh, uh, that yes, that is for it to be ten bucks. Like, is it you know 1080p, but the bit rate is so horrible that it could just be 480, yeah. you know, that sort of thing. Right. Um, well, but right now, at least you know, uh, I'm I'm not using the mic that's built into it, obviously. But I mean, if you need a camera, and 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 the the lenses are non-zoomable, okay? Yeah. They they just are. The ten dollar one, the uh, it's a ninety degree wide lens. This one, I believe, is a hundred and five, yeah, hundred and five uh, degrees wide, so you can't zoom in or in or out. But again, if you're on a budget, certainly the sixteen dollar. This is the sixteen dollar one. It seems adequate for talking to the family yeah uh, I, I haven't bought the ten dollar one i'm tired of spending <laughs> buying cheap camcorders uh and it comes with a little tripod Interesting. And, and it comes with a little lens cover it, I, it's pretty neat yeah yeah I, I i i'm the only thing that i'm worried about is you know if it's doing something fishy because yeah, i've even yeah. had a Logitech camera that was 4K, but every time I would bump it into 4K, it was a muddier looking video compared to 1080. It was like, it could do 4K, like the image would be that many pixels, but the picture quality was way worse because it was pushing that many pixels. And when I bumped it back down to 10K, it was a lot crisper of an image. Um, but, all that being said, even even if at 2K it's a, it's not as good as at 1080, a $10 camera, a $16 <laughs> webcam in this day and age, everybody's buying out webcams for Zoom, for all their college classes, for everything. It's you'd be hard pressed to get a inexpensive camera. So that's great. And this is very wide angle. That's great. Very very wide. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, so that is my second gadget, and, I, and it's the first time I've actually broadcasted with it. And like I said, it, it's I'm going to go back to the other camera, and you'll see 
the the light is going to change drastically without me changing the actual lighting in here. So I'm going to go back to it now for uh, go back. And it's also what, when you in the drop down menu, it's just called webcam. <laughs> webcam. You, <laughs> video right. source webcam. And I should be back now. Yeah. And that's a Logitech, is it? Uh, yes, this is, uh, yeah. yeah, it's the Logitech 920. So that versus I took a, I, I paused the video over oh, here great on our for website. You. Good. So you can kind of see the difference there. Yep. Um, in color. So yeah, it's a, it's definitely a, uh, your, your, your darks are a little brighter. Your brights are, uh, also a little brighter. <laughs> Everything's just a little <laughs> brighter on the on the Logitech. Uh, cool. Some inexpensive webcams from Amazon. Uh, 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 yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> You're going to go broke buying inexpensive. Yes, I know. Webcams. That's what I'm thinking. I've already spent uh, $36 on crap webcams. Well, they're, they're not crappy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. They'll be okay. I don't think Dennis has a webcam, so he can certainly take one of these. Right. Um all right, so we found out, uh, was it in host chat or maybe before host chat, that Chad likes to wash his hands. I do. Guilty as charged. Have I got a spot for you. Oh. Here it is. This might have been inspired by the pandemic, but it's been a problem forever. Parents, how do you get your kids to really wash their hands? This is called Crazy Aaron's Hypercolor Foaming Hand Soap with hypercolor technology. <laughs> the idea oh, here is yeah. that it makes your hand a color and it takes 20 seconds of washing oh. for the color to go totally away. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at the, uh, uh. <laughs> You have to wash oh, off the wow. dye. <laughs> okay, mom, my hands are clean. <laughs> okay, so we're going to, it's kind of fun actually. All right, so it should take 20 seconds. We're not going to time this. Because and you can see the color tell. leaving, and it becomes white. Oh, yeah. Like, wow. The color does, and then, and it, it just goes, goes away. away. And then it nice. becomes clear. That is so crazy. Yeah, so that's like 20 seconds. Okay, my hands are clean. And while they're wet, we have a handkerchief here. And we're going to, uh, oh, look at, oh, mmm. Uh, 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 uh. It does. It has to. It has to be agitated for the color to go away. That is, yeah, yeah. I would. I would call that one technology. That one does. Oh, okay, actually, good. Hypercolor yeah. technology. You know, I feel like that is so unique. I haven't seen that before. Maybe that one actually does fall into the technology. Oh, okay. Okay. I would have saved washing one, but that's it. Totally white. It's reddish. Mm -hmm. The red dyed oh, the hanky darker, but actually, better demo it on a handkerchief. Out. Look at that. That is really good. Okay, crazy Aaron hypercolor foaming soap with hypercolor technology. Also smells good too. Okay, we're back in the lab, minus a lab coat, because I forgot we have another soap product called Splats from One Fun. Okay, it's another way to get kids to wash their hands. You use the little handy, little handy dispenser to bring up a soap splat. Oh, and the wow. object here is that they splat it. Ah. And then they have enough soap to give themselves... A nice. I think the reality is supposed to like yeah. splat it so it goes all over right. everybody. It's a <laughs> haha joke. Splat. That is that is two very interesting uh, gadgets. I'm uh, I wonder how much I would like those little ball things. Would it be just the right amount of soap, or would it be yeah. like too much or too little? No, you're right. You're right. Uh, the foam stuff, you can adjust it with how much you squeeze out. Right. Um, splats, I, 
I, I don't even know how much splats cost. You know, it's really annoying on Amazon now. Uh, they have Crazy Aaron's Hypercola, but like uh, splats, I forgot. It's I think it's from One Fun, but you can type into Amazon uh, splats from One Fun, and it brings up everything that's not splats. <laughs> Uh, but but at the top of the page it says splats one fun um so it it looks like amazon it's not on amazon yet i think it's a new product um but it comes if you buy it it comes in two different containers i think the the container that contains that little plastic hand they couldn't ship it in that because that would leak so when it comes, you get the splats balls like that kid is holding. The splats oh. balls are in one container. <clears throat> and then you get the other container in clear glass with the hand in it. And you just transfer the, the uh, splats balls into that. So it's kind of, a, I think kids will like this. If yeah. you have trouble, well, evidently your family never had trouble getting you to wash your hands. <laughs> unless it's a new thing. I, maybe an adult thing. I, I can't quite remember how I was as a child. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, I obsessively wash my hands and it, it's, I feel like sometimes it's a problem when I'm cooking. Cause if I touch anything, I'm like time to wash my hand. Okay. I have, I moved this plate here. Okay. I got to wash my hands. <laughs> I'm like, you know, that is interesting because that one time I came to dinner, <laughs> I, I remember saying, Chad, it's almost midnight is dinner <laughs> And you said, I just have to wash my hands. I just have to wash my hands. I've only gone through four rolls of paper towels drying my hands. I've gone through three jaws of hypercolor <laughs> yeah, with exactly. hyper technology. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that I, I, I feel like the technology, you know, the quote unquote technology branding, which we've made fun of, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. It really has to do something that I haven't seen before. Or feels unintuitive, you know, feels special. And this one, I, f I feel like it hit that mark. It may, it still kind of doesn't feel like technology, like circuit boards and microchips. Yeah. But no, but something, something does happen. Something happened. It feels like that was cooked up in a lab somewhere. So yeah. this one might I mean, get a pass. Yeah. It's not like a, a comb, a comb with hair straightening technology. Right. No. A comb with prong technology. Yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. Um, yeah, sometimes it feels that way. So that's a great, great, two fantastic hand washing gadgets. Gadgets. With and that, that brings us to, ladies and gentlemen, you Chad. You need it, but you might want it at Chad. Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. We are back with another security gadget. This is the gadget. What would you do if I told you this gadget could keep intruders out of your hotel room? Out of your... Out of... Uh, oh, oh, oh. You know, if you had... Uh, a older sister you didn't want in your bedroom, you could put this on your door and it would keep them out. Well, that's what this okay. is. Okay. Uh, I recorded a video about it. So oh, okay. Very good. I like it already. Yeah. Hey, diggity. So we are back with another security gadget and this is from Safebox. This is the Traveler's Security Alarm. And the idea behind this is that you would put it onto a door. This could be in a hotel room, a dorm room, your apartment, your house. And this will set off a very loud 91 decibel alarm when this is tampered with, when it is triggered. Uh, this is what the outside of the packaging looks like. I'm really giving you a good look because this is really in here and the packaging is going to get destroyed when I take it out, which I'm doing right now. Okie dokie. So we have it out of the packaging and this is what it looks like. There is a button on the front and that is just a light. Ooh. So that's all that button does. Uh, then you have the wire as it goes back 
to the back and this wire has a clip on it which can just be like adjusted throughout and you'll see why that adjustment is useful also on the back is this eject button and that really isn't an eject button that's just where these prongs come out and i'm gonna cover up the uh the speaker here because this is going to set off the alarm and how this works is that these prongs when not touching each other make the alarm go off and so what you'll be doing is you'll be putting these prongs into the door in such a way that they are together then taking the rest of this wire and looping it around the door handle. So I'm gonna have to do that first. So we'll loop that around the door handle, then take our prongs, set it into the door, and then let this whole thing just hang off of the door. And we could adjust sort of how everything is working together uh, using that little clip. And now this is all armed. So if the door is opened, the alarm will go off. I'm not gonna cover, earlier I was covering up the speaker, so I'm not gonna cover up the speaker so you can see just how loud it is. Here we go. And that is very, very, <laughs> very loud. And it calls in a police dog. <laughs> dog. Loud. Security Even dog arrives. the intruder were to somehow figure out that you need to close these prongs or destroy the device, uh, that would definitely get people's attention. So in order to uh, you know, travel with it. All you do is take the prongs, slide them into the back, and then you can close them up. And I can take this little clip on the bottom, loosen it up, and then take it off of the door handle. And it's very light and very easy to travel with. And you get the bonus that you have a light with it as well. I highly doubt most people are going to be using the light. And that has been the safe box travel alarm. So That's I had nice. mentioned yeah. that uh, there was a little announcement and the announcement was today I've gone TikTok crazy. So I ended up making a TikTok account for my OMG craft show, but also I decided to record this as a TikTok. So the Gizwiz show now has a TikTok account. So oh, great. Oh. <laughs> I might put up some of my uh, gadget reviews there. Um, Dick, if you're ever so inclined, feel, you know, I can give you the credentials. Feel free. Oh, this yeah. is the safe box. So here's the TikTok that uh, we made. Travel security alarm. It is a small pocket-sized alarm that has a little light on the bottom. It's pretty simple to use. On the back, there are these prongs, and when the prongs are separated, a 91 decibel alarm sounds. So slip this onto a door, could be a room, could be a hotel room, and then take those prongs and wedge them into the door frame so they stay connected. And then when the door is opened, those prongs will come apart and the alarm will sound. It is so loud, you're definitely going to hear this thing. It's available at Target for only $13.99. So there you go. Now we have a TikTok. Nice. So follow the show. Gizwiz show is the uh, oh, yeah. username. Uh, now so now like, that music is free. Is it public domain I'm music? I'm pretty sure that I think is TikTok's music. Um, I've already. Oh, then it would be, I guess. Yeah. So YouTube announced something today t as well, which is that they're um, going to be like supporting Shorts, which is their TikTok competitor. Uh, a lot more now. They have a creator fund. They have all sorts of stuff for that. So uh, I thought maybe we should... So I uploaded this to YouTube already under the shorts oh, okay. for the YouTube channel that we already have. And it wasn't claimed or anything. So should should be pretty good. Um, so anyway, that's you can look forward to that. I just thought it would, we have... Oh, that's you know, very good. Yeah. All these gadgets anyway. Um, so anyway, the safe box, as you saw... Uh, $13.99, you can pick it up at your local Target. It is power. one thing I forgot to mention, it's powered by normal CR2032s, so if you need to replace the battery ever. There you go. That is the That's safe nice. box. With that, Very let's nice. move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> Thank you.
They're geeky and they're goofy Together they are loopy When gadgets pass away He takes them out to play In Dick's Gadget Warehouse Um, All right, it's time for another Moe's What the heck is it? Ooh, here we go Hey guys, love the show uh, okay. please I had no idea what this work. was. Today right. I have another guess what the heck is it. I also have on FaceTime our friends from New York City, 150 miles away from us joining us, and they're going to play with us. I'm not showing you the screen, but they're playing with us. They're going to go first. So this is the gadget. This is the guess what the heck is it. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ready, guys? <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is the guess what the heck is it? Are those... No, 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 you can't go first. You can't go first. Okay, our guest from New York, two very good friends of ours. Can you guess what this is? Let them know if you need me to turn it around. Obviously, glasses of some sort. I thought they were magnifiers that you would slip in different lenses. But is this the whole? This it has to be some type of is it glasses. A stand for a... <laughs> mm, very good. <laughs> you are a hundred percent correct. What? As usual. Don't let number you... one go. No Hold on. One Hold on one moment. <laughs> how, did, how did you guess that? <laughs> because you have the rubber tips and you have the she metal. She didn't see the rubber tips. Oh, well, how did I you get that? Right. Okay, that's fine. Hold on one. That's why I asked you to flip it. And then it has the grooves along the Watch edge it. of the glasses. And I don't know, I just, I cook, so I use cookbooks. I, I, I haven't had anything. I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed. Your husband, does he know? Did he guess it? They look like glasses. Look upside down. I was wondering if it was some type of stand. Ah, uh, I guess this was an easy one. I thought it was going to be a hard one. So let me show you how it works. Pretty cool guy. Hold on one moment. Can you get me my tablet? So the way you use it, you turn it around, you take your tablet, you put it on your favorite podcast, and you can put it like this. Hold on one moment. So this is my favorite show, but I think my tablet is too large to... So now this is the 10-inch iPad. Let me see if this one fits, and that fits perfectly. Ah. If I'm looking at the screen. This is a... That's how you can use it that way. Me, with the iPad, the large one, I'd have to use it like this. And I guess you could use that with that too. It has grips all along the edges to keep the iPad in place. And it's really, really cool. And it's shaped like a pair of sunglasses. Oh, glasses. Yeah. All right. Uh, love the show. Please keep up the great work. Thank you. Make sure Bye. to like and subscribe. If you're <laughs> or please like and subscribe. To the Gizwiz and yes, MT and My dad's channel. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's great. That's very funny. I, 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 I would have never, never Me guessed. Either. I thought it was, I was something that you put different lenses in. I don't know. I was way too what? focused on the glasses aspect of it. Yes. Them. I was like, they have, are they glasses that have a bottle opener? Or oh, Ranger they... Rick said X-ray glasses. That, I that's thought a the, good guess. The chat cracked me up. They said 1D glasses, which made me laugh. <laughs> um, uh, now, uh, I found it cheaper. Uh, when Mo bought it, I think it was, he said it was $17. But now... It's gone to $25 at BH, but I put another link in there, Chad, uh, for, yeah, I think, uh, something Deal of America. Deal or something. of America. Oh, yeah, okay. there you go. It's, it, that, that's the same as what Mo paid. The so Avoda multipurpose adjustable laptop stand i don't know if you yeah the other it. this said it, it showed this laptop on it oh 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 i see oh okay yeah, yeah. which might, might i mean it also showed the tablet on on there uh as right. well and the book um but yeah it is definitely very laid back <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, it's definitely uh a very like you'd see it from above so that would be almost perfect for a laptop um a little bit laid back for a uh 
tablet and then a book, you know, it just kind of naturally lays open. That's really no, it's just, cool. It's really nicely designed. I agree. And and I feel like if if you're going for an aesthetic, you know, at, like at Twit, you know, we had our desks out in the open and you kind of want to keep it clean, keep it looking nice. This would be a great little addition if uh, you were going for that, which is kind of cool. And it looked very sturdy, full aluminum. It does. It does. It, yeah, oh. really good. And and certainly worth the 17 bucks. Absolutely. Not sure I'd want it for 25, but 17 bucks. Yeah. Mm, very nice. Yep, yep. Thanks for the video, Mo. Thank you, Mo. Your mads are, are you probably have them by now. <laughs> uh, how can other people send in videos? Oh, okay. It's very easy. Just make a little video like Mo did, one to three minutes, okay? Anything to do with a gadget, an old gadget, a gadget. What The thing we love most is a gadget that you bought years ago and spent like $800 and now you can find it for 30 cents at, at a Goodwill. Um, just make a little video, one to three minutes, horizontal. Just make sure we can see the gadget and hear you and put it up on YouTube. There's a drop down menu when you upload a video, click unlisted. And that way only people with the URL can watch the video and send us that video, mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show you a video, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine. And we're showing 99% of them, okay? And we can use something for next week, all right? And we would love it if, so, if someone new who had never sent in a video would do that, okay? So if you've never sent in a video, it's so easy, all right? Just one to three minutes, get it in now. It is very exciting when a new, we see a new face. Your yes. new voice. It's great. It's so great. Yes. Please. With that, let's move on to the letter. Now. And Adam J. Kowenko writes, Stick and Chad, did you see this Rinkit article? You might have seen it, but I thought I'd pass it along in case you want to mention it on the show. It's about big brands taking part in a fraud scheme. Oh. And if you just bring up the article, there are two names in there that we know. So Amazon removes popular tech. Orkey, I have bought a lot of Orkey stuff. Uh, yeah. And KPOW. Orky, I have a lamp of that. What they've been doing is evidently paying people to write <laughs> reviews. Glowing reviews. Uh, uh, what's funny products. is the uh, the chat room has been sharing another version of this article, uh, talking about it too. I saw. I've seen this linked twice. Here it is. Um, this is, this article is from The Verge, Amazon first, gadget brands Anki and Impal are yes. suddenly suspiciously disappearing, which is insane. They are, this is big, the, they're whew. very big, they make great stuff. I, yeah. I wonder what made them stoop to offering, uh, money Yep. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I bet you this will not, after this, I'm sure that uh, they won't offer that sort of thing again. Um, that's no, kind but of insane. Um, it's, it's, it's insane on so many levels. One, that they were paying for reviews. Two that there was no type of communication between Amazon and these massive sellers for Amazon just to say, we see what you're doing. If you don't cut it out, we're cutting you out. They just, I feel, it feels like a very Amazon move to me. They, they just cut them out. They're yes, just, yes, you are exactly. gone. This is against our terms. You're gone. You fix it. And then maybe we'll let you come back. Um, like no warning at all. And yeah. then it's just insane that, that 
this um, this huge company is just they're you know their content isn't there anymore. Their their stuff isn't there. Um, it's amazing that Amazon wouldn't talk to them, and then it's also amazing that Amazon would just cut them out. Like if you're Amazon, yeah, I, I had the think- feeling that Amazon. Um, I joined something called the uh, Amazon Influencer Program. Someone. Right. Someone called me and said, you should try this uh, to make video, to edit your videos for Amazon. Um, and But you never hear from anybody. You, ne- there's just never. a sheet that you follow. Never. You have this, you have this, you have this. You submit it. Absolutely. And then for three days, it says pending, pending, pending. And then you have to submit 10 videos. Uh, one was rejected. And... and I knew I didn't read the guidelines all the way through to the end. Um, And then after I submitted my 10 videos, I read the guidelines and I said, oh, my God, you cannot say an amount of money in an Amazon video. Oops. And and I can sort of understand why. Right. Because it might. uh, Yeah. I I mean, I bought that camera for thirteen dollars Monday. Right. And today it's sixteen dollars. So, um so I knew, but no one ever talks to you. No. You just go to this page and it will say accepted, 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 rejected. Right. No, there's no person you can talk to. Absolutely. I, I, I was uploading to um, their video on demand service, which is a, their their plus service, you know, the Amazon plus. You can you watch all those videos. And I was uploading some of my Minecraft videos there. Exact same experience. Denied. No reason why it was denied. You could try to resubmit again. It'll take five days. There's obviously a human on the other end watching it, but you don't <laughs> get the feedback. No support. Absolutely no. none. You no. can't call. You can't chat. You can either follow the rules or not use their service. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Like, that's, exa- that's exactly right. That's, and, and I'm sure that's what just happened with them. If someone said, oh, we just found out that, and they just said, goodbye. Yeah. And then Amazon, was the next, you know, I've been doing that for months, and then they go, oh, yeah, we're discontinuing this service. Goodbye. And delete it. All the videos are deleted. <laughs> it's like, okay. Thanks, Amazon. Um, we're too busy building our yacht. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So this is a very Amazon thing. This is the most Amazon, Amazon thing I feel like I've ever heard of. You know, this company that probably makes millions of dollars, no communication, we'll just shut them down. No, um, uh, no, it's, it's, it's nothing to them. I mean, yeah. it, it, you know, uh, if, if they were unhappy with Ford Motors, they'd probably just say, goodbye, Ford. Yeah, yeah, you're not, you're not, they're, they're that big, they're that big of a platform that they just go, nope, not on our platform, goodbye. You know, but someone else will fill your spot that we are (laughs) have that big of a platform. Somebody else will do what you're doing. We have no issues just shutting you down. But they're they're good at solving problems. You know about about Jeff Bezos' new yacht. Oh, no, I haven't heard about this. Oh, he's having a I believe it's fifty five million dollar yacht built. (laughs) But I believe it's like a humongous I think it's going to be wind powered oh. and it has three masks. And so a helicopter can't land on it. So they're just building a second follow yacht. <laughs> oh yeah. That yeah, That million dollar yacht. That's my helicopter yacht. You know? That's exactly right. <laughs> I just have that one. Just so if I need a the helicopter, follow, yeah, the follow, I can the just take a helicopter. Me. Am I? <laughs> But that yacht over there, that's, yeah, that's my haircut yacht. You know, I really wanted a barber shop, but didn't have any space on the 55. So we got the haircut yacht. And then next to that, that's my water yacht. You know, sometimes I need a glass of water. And so I go over to the yacht yacht to get some. But the best thing is he has a dock yacht (laughs) so that they never have to worry where to dock. Yes. Because they can just dock on the dock yacht. Oh, yeah. That you know, was clever. That was good. <laughs> my $55 good. million dollar yacht was too big. So I built a second yacht that was smaller so it could fit <laughs> into normal dockyards. Yeah. Oh, um, my gosh. 
That's insane. But you know, it was so funny about Amazon reviews, how desperate companies are. So I got this battery for one of my old, <clears throat> old galaxies. I just use as a security phone. And after 18 months, the battery is starting to swell up and it's guaranteed for two years, possibly three. One part of the review says two years, one part of the, uh, uh, so I emailed them a photo of it <clears throat> and they said, uh, please don't send that picture to Amazon Yeah, and we will replace it or give you a refund. Oh yeah. So I said, um, well, a refund would be good. And then he wrote back and said, we're sending you a refund. Could you give us five stars for service? <laughs> yep. I, it's true. I, I, when I was uploading my videos, if I, you know, videos would be uploaded, they'd be chugging along, getting some views. One of my videos had a one-star review from someone who just said, you know, like, Minecraft is dumb. That video stopped getting views. It stopped getting served. It, it Amazon just shut that video down because it got one. It, the first review on the video was a one star review. All the other videos kept going. You know, then oh if they got gosh. a good review, they'd go up. If they got a bad review, just dead. Just absolutely dead. It seems like it's their only metric to serve up a product. And I could see if you're making a business, you know, this was just a side hobby thing. I was just kind of doing it yeah. to check it out. But if this is your livelihood, if you get three bad reviews in a row, which could naturally happen, it could sink your product yes. on Amazon. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I didn't know why he would ask that because the review would have to say, so my battery nearly, nearly blew up. Right. Uh, right. And it gave me a refund. Wasn't that great? I, I mean, <laughs> he, I, I, th I didn't do anything because I'm thinking he's better off if I don't write anything. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Also, is that against their right. terms for them to ask for a review? Maybe. Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, 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 maybe. Maybe now. Yeah. Maybe now. Yeah. But more and more in everything you buy from Amazon, there's a little thing in there. A little paper that uh, says. A little sure paper. Are. And it says, we'd like to offer you a free gift. Just text this number. So I texted them and it said, thank you. The free gift is so-and-so, so-and-so. Just send us a photo of your five-star five review. review. Yep. I think all of that you, is going to end. <laughs> I, I bet yeah. you all of that is done with because they don't want to risk what happened to Anki. Um, yeah, I think you're guess. right. I think you're assuming that those, uh, everybody's going to know about uh, what Amazon did. But I, I, hate, I hate that yeah. kind of thing where they say a free gift, and I kept saying there's got to be a hitch here. The hitch isn't hitch until is a you <laughs> contact them. Right. And, and then maybe by then, then you're not doing it directly on Amazon, so they feel safer. Right. Absolutely. Uh, well, we want to say a big old thank you to our patrons over at yes, patreon.com yes. slash gizwiz. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support of the show. If you like the show, please head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz and support. You guys support every single episode. Whenever we upload, that's when you support uh, really 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 appreciate our patrons thank you so 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 much for your generosity if you don't want to give via patreon you can head on over to gizwiz.tv click on the patreon tab and there's a paypal link if you want to give via paypal however you give thank you so much we really appreciate it here on the gizwiz Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. The website will just update with the live stream. If uh, you don't catch it live, don't worry. We have all of our previous episodes on our website. Just keep scrolling down. You'll get the latest five of them. Click more episodes. You get all of them. 65 pages of episodes for you to enjoy. If you want to know more about any of the gadgets that we cover on the show, head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website, where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. If you want the mobile version of that site, head on over to gizwiz.me. There you can play, what the heck is it? 
It's a game show online about a gadget. We kind of did it this earlier with Mo. Uh, maybe you, the first guesser over on Mo's video, should definitely guess on this. It seemed like they were pretty good. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, there you go. This is uh, the gadget, the whole gadget. Um, and this is just obvious to me that this is a thumb exercise machine. You put your thumbs on those things in the middle and you just you, you exercise them out. Thumb exercise. You need it. Burn those calories. If you think you know what this is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. That's 18 magazines up for grabs. So please get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. I'm going to remind you again, if you have a gadget that you want to show us, record it and send it to the show mail at gizwiz.tv. We would love first time recorders, but we'll take anybody. So uh, just remember, <laughs> get, a, get a video in. We would love that. Until next time, we'll see you next week. I'll be here. Oh,